Well, you know, we're doing it uh, as a trio with some help with a couple other guys that I worked with before. So it's uh, Daniel, Daniel Pecchio, Tommy Dobek, and myself. And uh, it's a blast. Um, we haven't played together, really played together for 40 years, over 40 years. Um, you know, I, I would show up sometimes and play with the Resonators, but this is the first time that Daniel, Tommy, and I are playing together, uh, playing these songs from the first three MSB albums. Um, and it's it's a blast. There's songs we're playing that we never played as a band because uh, we're we're um, concentrating on tunes that's kind of, kind of deep deep cuts from the first few albums. Uh, so there's stuff a lot of a lot of harmonies which we didn't do much of really except for uh, things like nothing's going to change my mind. So a lot of the other songs on those albums there was were, they were thick with three part harmonies, and uh, we're reproducing some of that again. And one of the things that's really fun and exciting about it is that we're taking a fresh look uh, at some of these songs. Uh, if we can look back at it and get some perspective on it. And I've done this with several of them. I'm going, you know, if I was to do this now, if I was producing that band with those young guys, what would I suggest to them to do? And so I've, I've done that. And I've done some, some mixing up of stuff. Uh, one of the songs I added a new bridge to and uh, changed the groove on some of the songs and it's just been a blast because it's so much fun working with you guys. It's just, there's just magic when, when Tommy and Daniel and I get together. It's, it clicks in such a special way. I would have lunch with Daniel and I would see Tommy at gigs and stuff like that and um, Tommy one time we were talking on the phone he says well you know do you want to get together like and, and have, have, have lunch with Daniel and I? I was like yeah let's do that okay. So it came to town and I was I had this in the back of my mind you know, and, and uh, so I talked to them both about the idea of let's do a show, you know, let's do that material from the first three albums. You know, I wrote a lot of that material and uh, we always loved doing Michael's songs. Um, let's do it again. Let's, the three of us, let's do that magic again. And, and that's basically what we did. And people know the lyrics to the songs. They sing along, they know all the songs uh, and they want to have the experience again. They want to, they want to see the three of us play together again. Um, and we're not we're not doing it as nostalgic either. We're doing it's very fresh. You know, we're putting a lot of energy that we saved up all these years. We're putting it in together and, and creating an exciting, uh, vibrant experience from that. Keeping those songs alive. We're not just reproducing them. You know, that was not the intent uh, to just to you know to reproduce in exactly the same way. And my thing was, you know, let's let's do this. Let's not let's not make them relics. You know, let's let's put some life into them again and. and let them grow and, and take on their personality, their own personalities, these, these songs, which have become classics in, in Ohio. Um, Material-wise, we're gonna do the same songs both nights because there's a lot of songs. Um, but there's gonna be the spontaneity of each of the shows because we're telling the stories. And the stories aren't scripted. I mean, we know at this point, we're gonna talk about such and such you know, event or whatever like that, but who knows what happens during the telling of it. It could go anywhere. Um, we're just and we're we're really excited about playing it like you said for for an ohio audience um we know that they're going to understand it in a way it's very personal to them and they're going to have a lot of fun i think with, the, with some of the changes we've made uh and re-experiencing the songs again just the way we're experiencing them come out you know share this with us there's nothing that says it's ever going to happen again you know, at this point you don't really know you know this could be the only time we ever do it I hope that's not the case, but there's no guarantees. And um, I, no one will be disappointed that comes out. I think people are going to love it. Unique, uh, as well as being experienced, you know, you know, I think people will always remember it.